everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Far Cry 5 and here we are as we left off last time about to change our clothes having been uh, rescued by somebody by the name of, uh, get this, Dutch. <sighs> Good old Dutch saved us and we're going to get an update from him on the situation once we've changed our clothes. The situation doesn't look very good. Uh, but uh, you'll notice there's no webcam today and the reason being is it's been an absolute scorching day. It's been 30 degrees all day. Uh, I've actually played tennis in the 30 degree heat to the point where my face is actually quite brown. I've caught a tan in the two hours that I was playing tennis. Uh, but that's not the reason why I've got, uh, got the camera on. The reason I haven't is because of it's that muggy and warm that I don't have anything on my top half. Sorry to put that image in your head but uh, you know this is a family show so I'm sure you don't want to see me in that kind of state so uh, uh, yeah normal service will be resumed I'm assuming in the next session because uh, the temperatures are set to fall a little bit to a more reasonable level right so uh, as per usual I'm just going to take my time uh, in this game uh, it's uh, something that I want to enjoy uh, enjoy the graphics the surroundings uh, um, I've already been made aware that we might be able to hunt animals according to one of the loading screens which I didn't know I don't know a lot about this game as I said in the first session so uh, just gonna enjoy and experience what this game has to offer um, so uh, yeah really looking forward to it wingsuits helicopters planes I mean bloody hellfire it's ripe for having some fun isn't it Please make some choices before we proceed to character customization. Ah, we can customize our character. Well, that's something I didn't expect to see. <laughs> I thought we'd literally just put some clothes on. Okay, so we can actually change our look to some degree. I don't flipping know. I have not got the foggiest clue. Uh, <laughs> I debate whether to do this off camera and just give you the finished article. <sighs> kind of like that. Kind of. It just because I think we might be if we're able to tweak the uh, the face a little bit more, maybe give hair and stuff. This looks like a quite a. No disrespect to the look, but it looks a bit kind of a plain plain kind of face that you can work with you know tweak it a bit more yeah I'm assuming it will give us a bit more customization so we'll try that can change the ch bit red bit of a tan I'm assuming we're somewhere warm right yeah it's fantastic ah Oh boy, uh, we'll, we'll do this all on camera, I usually do this off camera, but you know what, we'll have a change, and plus, you know, you can listen to this lovely music, I've already noticed the, the music in this game, I'm really loving it, I really do like the music in this game so far, it's quite calming, soothing at times, uh, right, we'll just go, we'll just go across, the short, short hair, no, I want hair, I don't want skinhead hair, uh, typical isn't it, typical, Four minutes into a recording, and somebody decides they need to ring me, and I've had no, I've had no phone calls for the past like two or three days. <laughs> a couple of WhatsApp messages, but no, no phone calls. And then suddenly sit down to record, and it's like people know now's the time to interrupt him. Anyway, uh, I could have carried on with the edit and just done this off camera and said, look, you know, I've done it. But no, I thought no, I've, I've committed to doing it on camera. We continue. Right, we're gonna go for a crappy side parting. <clears throat> That's not a side parting. It's a comb over. Um, yeah, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, but hey, why not? Let's, why not go for the ridiculous look? Why not? Okay, that's as much customization as we get. <laughs> Can't tweak a nose, an eyebrow, shape of the chin. Are we happy with this? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's just clothes. Uh. Let's go with, let's go with good old standard blue jeans. Well. Is it jeans? Yeah, it's kind of jeans, isn't it? With some side pockets, GD cargo y type pant things. I'm not a fashion guru. Uh, that'll do. Equipped. Good. Upper body. Don't like the shirt. Right. Uh, uh, vest? Should we go vest? 
dirty vests. Vest or check shirt? I think we'll go vest. Kind of blue and blue. How about red and blue? Orangey? Nah, red. Red and blue. Look at red vest. There you go. Look at that height. Red vest. Blue, genie things, and a comb over. Do you know what? It doesn't look that bad, to be fair. Change it. Oh, we could cl we could cover the comb over up with a hat. I haven't given this man a comb over to be have it to have it covered. Are you are you crazy? Should we put gloves on? Hey, look at that. That's like we are ready for a fight. Skeleton gloves, just simple black gloves, red gloves. Nah, wraps. I like the look of wraps. Bandages, yeah. These fists are bandaged for a reason. Strike fear into the heart of the enemy. Right, that'll do. No! There you go. Look at that! Looks completely and utterly like a rookie cop. What are they cops? Sheriff? Deputy? Yeah. Well, incognito undercover at this point. Okay. Confirm. We're in a first person shooter, of course. We can't see ourselves. <laughs> After all that. You know, there may be some mirrors or something. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. We can test our eyesight. Uh, I don't know if we wish to cause any kind of calamities here by using radios. Uh, I don't want to kind of... Oh. I've collected a med kit. So we just have to walk into things to collect them. We don't have to uh, pick them up. That's good. I mean, shall we just try it? It's at the periodic table. I ain't seen that for years. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, ra radon, radian, ra something or other. Hydrogen, lithium. Oh, brings back memories. Brings back memories. Right, let's have a try. Break. Okay, so that's given us uh, some kind of an update there. She didn't have Witter on, did she? Goodness me. If, you, if you're trying to give a distress message, it needs to be short and sweet and to the point. You don't want your bloody listeners to switch off on you, do you? <laughs> uh, ooh, dog. Man's best friend abandoned. So this guy might be a dog lover. He's into chemicals. Look at that. All different kind of formulae. Uh, he's got his periodic table over there. Again, with like, lots of sticky notes and stuff. So, a uh, scientist kind of guy that likes dogs. Right, cool. Just in case he, we need to uh, get on his good side. We can kind of, kind of, uh, you know, talk about things he's interested in. Right, we're now, we are now officially snooping. Which is not good, but uh, hey ho. If we're in law enforcement, it's what we're trained to do. Be nosy. Dear Mr. Roosevelt, I'd like to interview you about your recent altercation with government officials over your right to collect rainwater. My understanding is you had applied for a permit, but it was overturned, leading to your nights in jail, an ongoing court case. I'd like to confirm your official statements to the court that water is a God-given right, and then the government's stealing our resources out from under us. It's up to us to defend our individual rights and liberties. Also, did you really tell the judge, yeah, you bet you lily white ass I'm gonna be in good in in I'm in contempt of you? Please let me know if you'll go on record. Hope County Chronicle. Always looking for a good scoop. This guy sounds like a, a right character. What's he drinking? What's his choice? What's his choice of tipple? He's a cider drinker uh, and a vodka drinker too. 
So you like cider and vodka, dogs and chemistry. Okay. Let's keep let's keep gathering that information. Interesting clock that's broken. Letter to Dutch Dad, and he's got a son. I got your message. Good to hear they're dropping the charges. We'll try to come out for part of the summer. Ricky wants to show you how he's riding without training wheels, but Anne's got a lot of work at the college. I know how much it means to you, so we'll try. Only. Please lay off the homeschooling talk, okay? It's not right for me or Anne, and the school in South Street is one of the best. And let's keep the prepping activities to a minimum. I know Ricky loves it, but it freaks Anne out. Talk soon, Robbie. Okay. Right, so I think we've got enough information about this man. Oh, might like fishing as well. Hmm. Excellent. Fishing, dogs, chemistry, cider, vodka, and children. Yes. Lovely. Right then. None of this of course will come into play, but hey ho, you never know, do you? You never know. Traditional sauce. <laughs> More nosiness. Don't mind me. You bring me into your abode and uh, I just go snooping whilst you're busy trying to get hold of somebody on the radio. It's just what I do. Not being ungrateful. I'm just kind of getting accustomed to my surroundings. That's all it is. Ooh. We can take a weapon or something? Or take a pipe? Oh, uh, okay. We'll, ha we'll hang on. We'll hang on before we start. Oh, we can take a shovel. <laughs> what we can take a shovel for? To cl to clop him over the head with? Man saved us. <laughs> I shall not club him with a with a with a shovel, or a pipe. Right, what's this? Oh, he may like cards as well. Local fights to use water. Richard Dutch Roosevelt served two nights in jail for contempt of court after contesting his right to collect rainwater in what the state has defined as reservoir. Mr. Roosevelt has operated this rainwater collection without a proper permit. In flagrant violation of Montana laws, said the Water Resource Department Deputy Director Edwin Garcia. Mr. Roosevelt is contesting the charges. Okay, so he's got himself into a bit of trouble over collecting rainwater. And we have an aquarium here. And another picture of a dog. What am I walking on here? I just want to kind of take a look at the aquarium with a little pretty, pretty fish. Fish uh, swimming around. Hmm. Nice. Ah, crates of apple cider. Look at that. And here we have a phone. Is that a message? Dad, you there? This is Ray Ray. What the hell is going on? We've we've heard a miss of gunshots, and I, and I swore that weren't thunder earlier, but but a couple of explosions. Boomers all riled up and won't settle down. Is this more of them Peggy's bullshit? How much are we gonna stand for? Anyway, call me back when you can. And take care of yourself. Oh, she sounded a bit distressed, didn't she? Okay. Toilet paper, restroom, and a cupboard that we can open. Handgun ammo. Nice. A bit of theft. Yeah, it's, it's required. A workstation. Hey, it'll be fine. Look. It's gonna task. It's gonna task us to do something to help out, right? And we need weapons to help out, right? Okay. All right. So I think it's time to talk to him. We've uh, had a cursory look around the place. Uh, A safe. <coughs> Clearing our throat. Good. You found something that fits. I did. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. The little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it. I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is... There ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Okay, so take the gun and the map from the safe. But not before <clears throat> we've checked out this board here. So we've got four people. Start with the big man himself. Joseph C, the father, leader of the project at Eden's Gate. He believes a great collapse is coming and thinks of himself as a modern day Noah. Thinks God speaks to him. Told him to save as many souls as he can now that he started the reaping. His followers are willing to die from here for him. He's had his people build three massive bunkers to protect themselves when his pro prophecy comes true. The guy is an absolute nut job. <clears throat> and here, oops, it is, is Jacob Seed, oldest brother of the Seeds, the soldier, in charge of training their militia up in the White Tail Mountains. Only thing he believes in is <coughs> sacrifice the weak. Seems to be running a few psychological experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about people turning on one another at the drop of a hat. Has been linked to the creation of the monster wolves up north. The cult calls judges. And down here. John Seed. The Baptist. Youngest of the Seed brothers and maybe the most sadistic. In charge of recruiting for the cult. Marking, cleansing, confession, atonement. Those are the four steps he puts everyone through to become a member of Eden's Gate. If they survive. John tells everyone to accept the power of yes as a way to get his followers to do whatever the fuck he wants. Grade A psychopath. So we've got John Seed. What was he called again? John Jacob. Is he Joseph? Joseph. And uh, Juliana? <laughs> Faith. Didn't stick with the J theme for the ladies? Is she not a member of the family? She's called the Siren. Don't know how she's related. She seems like she just showed up one day. She'll spin you a sob story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. She'll poison your mind with bliss if you give her the chance. Anyone who goes wandering into the Henbane River winds up either dead or walking the path to become one of those brain-dead angels doing all the cult's hard labour. So you've got the Siren. You've got the father, you've got the soldier, and you've got the mad one. The Baptist. Okay. I'm sure we'll get to know those guys at some uh, future juncture. Okay. Be careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. Okay, so how do I get my map on? Is there a map button? Meet Dutch and get updated on the situation. Yep, yeah, we've kind of done that. Now we need to exit the bunker. Right, it might show us the map when we exit the bunker. Before we exit the bunker though, now that we are officially... Uh, we can't change weapons at the second. Um, we are going to now take a shovel. Because why not? Hold LB to open your weapon wheel. Select the desired item with the right stick. Melee and throwables offer a deeper selection. Navigate within a slot by pressing the left and the right button. Okay. So, oh, so now we can access our weapon wheel. So, uh, that's... There you go. So we've got shovel or fist. Shovel or fist. I'll take shovel, please. There's not. You can't be clubbing people over there with a shovel. It's just the ultimate, you know, clubbing them with a, with a, with a pipe, an axe, it's all well and good, but you, the shovel is the ultimate weapon of choice. Uh, we've got some uh, molotov type things, uh, so these are explosives, this is melee throwables, throwing knives, smoke grenades, bait, uh, got grenades, so these are more throwable explosive -y things, so these are kind of, you've got uh, weapons, we can change fire modes and stuff. And weapon ammo types with like X or Y, I think it was, but uh, we don't have that option right now. So we've got a pistol, we've got a shovel. 
What more do you need? Here we go. Hey, bright lights shining on me. Oh, look at this. How beautiful does this look? It looks fantastic. Oh, wow. Now listen up. If you're going to build a resistance, there's some things you need to know. There's four ways you can go about this. First, you can liberate any hostages the cult's taken. These are good people who might just fight alongside you if you help them. Second, you can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. Hell, they built two goddamn shrines on this island alone. Third, you can tackle resistance missions. There are a lot of folks out there waging their own war against this cult. And they could sure use your help. And last, if you're really looking for a fight, you can take on the cult outposts that have popped up across the county. Liberating those places will give the resistance solid footholds to push back against Eden's Gate. Gotcha. Rescue civilians, destroy cult properties, complete missions, and liberate cult outposts. Got it. So where do we go from here? Cameras set up all over this island. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. For now, head south and take out any culture you see. And help any folks in need, would you? Dutch out. Wow. I mean, I would do Dutch, but I'm kind of just taking in the beautiful scenery right now. It does look absolutely fantastic. And we've got a herb here. We can take herbs. Now, what do herbs do for us? Is there a crafting system? Oh, look, there's a camera. Okay, let's just take a, take a quick look. So we've got the journal. So we got to Dutch's Island, which is basically uh, build up a resistance by freeing hostages, destroying cult property, undertaking me. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Right, good. So that's what we need to do. So where do we find all these things? And where the hell do we find our bloody map? Left bumper. Aha! So we're just focusing, to start with, on this island. I think... This is the island that we're on. This is the island that we are being told to kind of focus on primarily. How do we zoom out? Okay, lovely. And you can zoom right in. Okay. Dutch's region. Ah, so this is Dutch's island. Yes, Dutch's island was mentioned a couple of times when we were changing our clothes. So this is Dutch's island. Right. So journal. Aha, inventory. So we have uh, throwables, baits, so these are all the throwables that we can collect. We've got homeopathics, which we can make with certain, haha, herbs. Right, nice. We've got components, which we can uh, use to craft homeopathics. Uh, special ammunition for sale. And some keys. Okay. Well. And character customization. Excellent. Right. Well, what we'll do to start with is we're just going to have a bit of a nosy about. This is a session there where we're just going to find our foothold, find our bearings. If we find something to take down, we'll take it down. But other than that, I just want to kind of soak in the scenery. I hope you don't mind. We'll, we'll get a bit more pacey in the later sessions. But to start things off, I just like to take my time, and especially with a game like this. Uh, really want to enjoy and soak in the environs, you know? Right, straight away, I see something. Cult Shrine. Cult Shrine, dead ahead. So you can make that priority target or set a waypoint there. Aha! There you go, 134 metres, we've got a waypoint. So if we now put that away, bring up our map ah, well the waypoint is nowhere near the shrine <laughs> but anyway, the shrine is on our map now, so uh, let's go to it and see what we can find but uh, I'd be surprised if that shrine is not can we remove, remove waypoint, how do you remove waypoint? there you go, I'd be surprised if that is not guarded by somebody, oh wait a minute, what's this? Johnson Lookout Tower. Okay. Let's 
So if there is hunting in this game, that means there's animals in this game, and I'm assuming there will be animals that can attack you, so we've got to really have our bearings about us. Enemies can come from all sides and in all shapes and sizes. Right. So right stick is takedown. Clicking the right stick. Melee, silent, takedown. Oh, hang on, hang on a second. Straight away, we have a couple of enemy. Now, I am going to be working on, predominantly where possible, a stealth approach. So we'll see how that... We'll see how that pans out for us. <laughs> Didn't want to be plunged into combat so soon. I really want to just have a, a session of sightseeing, you know? Damn. Damn and blast. Best laid plans. We have got things to do and uh, colleagues to rescue, despite the fact that they abandoned me. Well, not all of them abandoned me. That Marshall fella abandoned me. On more than one occasion, somebody pointed out in the comments of the last video. There's three of them, not two. One sat down on his backside doing nothing. Right. If we take him down silently, uh, and then take down the other two by any means, any means necessary, I think that's maybe the order of business. Because this guy there is not doing anything. I just want to make sure there's no more enemy, so we're just going to do a quick survey round the perimeter, all angles, just making sure we're not going to get surprised by somebody else. Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, he's moving now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He just stood there all that time, and now he decided to move. I want to kill one of them with the shovel. <laughs> oh, it's a dead body there. I want to kill one of them with the shovel. Is that a bad thing? If you manage to kill a couple of them without being seen, we'll uh, kill the third one with the shovel. Why are the fireworks going off? Right, okay, so now we're behind a log. Uh oh. You stupid woman. What are you doing? None of these creatures are going to survive the collapse, so we're taking everything. How do you pick her up? They can't see a thing. Blind as bats. Right, that'll do for me. Blind as bats. Right, correct me if I'm wrong, but I hit her over the head with a shovel there, didn't I? Can we not loot you now? Right. So I wonder how foliage works when it comes to, um, you know, when it comes to uh, cover. If we're like really hidden in the foliage, does that hinder, you know, obscure our vision? Maybe. Oh, where are you going, son? Where you? Right, let's just make sure. Is this another shovel attack? Let's have a look. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, it's a shovel attack, boys and girls. Whoa, 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 why? That's some kind of gas. You see, the, it all went a bit cloudy, didn't it? Goodness me. 
Right, yeah. It's <laughs> oh, this is so awesome! I'm shoveling people! <laughs> Bong! <laughs> uh, oh, and I've now got a bigger gun. That'll do for me. That'll do for me. What is this? I can't, some kind of poisonous gas? Not a clue. Right, so we've got uh, got a nice assault rifle. We've got uh, proxim We've got remote explosives now, and a proximity explosive. Nice, but uh, I'm an old schooler. I don't need no fancy fire firearms, fancy explosive things. I just need me a pistol and a shovel, and I'll be good. It's the future. Simplicity is key. Right, let's just loot what we can from here before we uh, blow this blow this sm uh, place to smithereens and then go for a spot of fishing. Because uh, that's what you do when you've uh, done a hard day's work. You a bit of fishing, you know, reward yourself. I don't know what this happy gas kind of stuff is, but we don't like it, so we're just going to blow this place up. Here we go. Okay. That didn't... Oh, 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 there is, a, there is a bit of fire. There is a bit of fire. It might need a, it might need a touch more. Or it might even need a more explosive, to be honest with you. But we'll just try a bit more. Now there's two bits of fire. Uh, one more for the road. Poof. Three bits of fire. I mean, how many more bits of fire do you need to blow up an explosive canister? F four bits? Come on, seriously? You know they say you should never go back to late fireworks? Right, fine. Maybe a few more would do it, but I'm not going to mess around anymore. Remote explosive. Right, how do we do this? Oh, look, you can upgrade these. Blasting cap nitro fasteners. Unless that's how you craft them. Oh, that's how you craft them. Uh, do, 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 combined with a, some comedic timing. A remote detonated plastic explosive. For extra fun, combine it with some comedic timing. How do you do that? Right, so how do we... How do we equip... Okay. How do we... How do, how do we... Hello? I want to use it. How do we use it? That's weapons, right? Alternative fire? Uh, <laughs> uh, is it not just as simple as releasing it on the thing? Heavens help us, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, uh, gamepad. Let's just take a quick look. Come on. Entertain me here, game. Shoot, aim, hold weapon, throw. Oh, right bumper? Right bumper. There you go. Got there in the end. Bye. Just in case anybody comes knocking. <laughs> Alright. Well, I consider that quite the success. So what does that do for our little... Uh, our little quest? Do we get like a resistance points? 900? Hmm. There's a way to sort of track... Our level of resistance. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> just going to uh, explore a little bit. Look at that! Isn't it fantastic? Oh, fish! Oh, look at that! Fish jumping in the water. Get two flies buzzing around. Oh, look at that! I wonder if you can go fishing in this game. I wonder if you could swim. Hmm. Okay, so yes, um, 
so far I am uh, very impressed. I like the uh, I, I like the graphics. I like the fact that the game is so silky smooth, very very smooth. And I like the fact that I can hit people over the head with shovels. So all in all, it's a good promising start. It must be said. I think me and this game are going to get on like a house on fire. Right, now we are going to see if we can check out this building here. Just want to be careful that we don't uh, stumble across things that we don't intend to stumble across. I hit. Someone may need... Someone may need rescuing here. I think the game has just given us a bit of a tutorial. So we've got one thing to blow up there, another person to rescue right here. It's almost like a, a tutorial island, isn't it? Tutorial island. There you go, you see? Okay, we could go up there and take them down from high. But we don't have a silenced weapon. So, um... It might have to be shovels again. Like shovels at dawn. Sinner, you better tell us what you know. <gasps> right. Talk, sinner. Stupid sinners, all of them. You can't resist the father's will for long. So it's so engrossed in his beating of this poor person, doesn't even realise his friend's been clubbed over the head with a shovel. Please, we gotta help me. Thanks, deputy. Thanks, deputy. How do you know I'm a deputy? I'm a man in a red vest and blue trousery genie things. Kid, kid, I just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favour. Okay, we've got a Guns for Hire story mission. Go to the fishing dock. And we've got a hunting animal here. Right, well... Uh, eee, animal parts. What about this guy? Can we hey talk man. to... Got a minute? Yes. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. Prepper stash. Sunken funds. Open in map. So we've got... Uh, let's have a look at this. So we've got a prepper stash... And we've got guns for hire. Go to the fishing dock to liberate yet more hostages. Okay, okay. We're making progress, we're making progress. This is good, this is good. Now we've got a gun here. I think we could just use them for, uh, for ammunition maybe. Let's have a look here. What about you, my dear? Ooh, throwables, what have I got? So what did I get? I fixed my smoker, so it's time to make more jerky. You've just been beaten up and you're just worried about making jerky. Well, uh, priorities, I suppose. Okay, let's take a look. What have we got throwable? we got throwables. What have we got? Nothing. Oh, here we go. We've got Molotov. Burning things with a Molotov would be pretty cool. I'm up for that. Right, okay. We'll do the next couple of things uh, in the next session, I think. So, to finish this one off, I'm just going to check out this zip wire. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Let me get me, let me get me bearings here. First of all, yeah, this... this. What, what does he do? Is that his place? That might be his place, you know. I'm going to go and check it out. We'll go up here. We'll take a look at what we can loot and plunder from up here. Uh, nothing much. Some cigarettes and a lighter and a rope. Uh, and a little cooler box. This is a nice little place, isn't it? Look at that. This is, I want to use the zip wire. That's what I want to do. Finish the session off by going on a bit of a ride. Okay, that's fine. How do you sprint? There you go. Well, if he's up there, it must be. Uh, it must be good. Yeah, look at that. Uh, another zip wire. I 
You don't happen to have any uh, supplies, do you? <clears throat> you know, just call it a reward for helping you. You do. Rifle ammunition. Greatly appreciated, sir. You look after yourself now. Uh, I'm going to uh, hopefully take a ride on a zip wire, if you don't mind. Can we do that? Can we do that? Let's have a look. Can we do it? Uh, no? It's just a rope. It's not a zip wire, is it really? Ah, oh, damn. Damn! You've ruined my fun. Oh, there is a zip line. There. Oh, I can do it on that side, but not on this side. Why not? Oh, I can. I'll do it this way because there's no enemies. This way is going towards the docks and there could be enemies down there. So uh, I will refrain from zipping it down there. But we'll zip it this way. Ready, steady. And a go we go. Hey. Whee! Oh, look, that's so cool. Loop full. What do you mean loop full? Damn you! Can we kick it over? No. Okay, fine. So I think we'll end the session here. I don't know how long it's going to be because I have been interrupted with the phone call. It might be about 45 minutes, which is just about right, I think, for these kind of games. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll call a close to the session here. In the next one, we shall head down here to uh, hopefully help out more captured uh, people. Uh, we'll find this prepper stash and we'll continue our exploration of this island in what is an absolutely beautiful game. I really am, uh, really, really am impressed. So uh, until next time, see you soon.